On July 20, 1969, the world watched in awe as Neil Armstrong became the first human to set foot on the moon. This monumental achievement, a testament to human ingenuity and American exceptionalism, became a defining moment in history. It solidified America's position as a technological superpower, capable of achieving the seemingly impossible. The event, etched in our collective memory, wasn't just a scientific triumph, it was a source of immense national pride. However, like a shadow cast by a brilliant light, doubt crept in. Whispers of conspiracy began to circulate, questioning the authenticity of the moon landing. These claims, fueled by mistrust and misinformation, have persisted for decades, even as evidence to the contrary has mounted. The belief that the moon landing was faked, a grand hoax perpetrated by the US government, has taken root in certain corners of society. This essay delves into the heart of this controversy, examining the arguments put forth by proponents of the moon landing hoax theory. We will dissect these claims, exposing their flaws through the lens of scientific reasoning and empirical evidence, from the seemingly impossible physics of the waving American flag to the enduring imprint of Neil Armstrong's boot on the lunar surface, we will leave no stone unturned. By confronting these misconceptions head-on, we aim to illuminate the truth behind one of humanity's greatest achievements and underscore the importance of critical thinking in an age of rampant misinformation. The seeds of doubt regarding the moon landing were sown almost immediately after the event itself. Fueled by a climate of Cold War paranoia and mistrust of government, these theories found fertile ground in which to grow. One of the earliest and most vocal proponents of the hoax theory was Bill Casing, a former U.S. Navy officer with a background in technical writing. Casing, who claimed to have worked on the Apollo program, a claim disputed by NASA, self-published a book in 1976 titled we Never Went to the Moon, America's $30 Billion Swindle. This book became a cornerstone for conspiracy theorists, laying out a framework for future doubts. Casing's arguments, often light on evidence and heavy on speculation, resonated with those predisposed to distrust authority. He argued that NASA, lacking the technological prowess to reach the moon, staged the entire event on a sound stage, using Hollywood trickery and special effects. This narrative, with its David versus Goliath appeal, captured the imaginations of many, particularly those already skeptical of the government's narrative. The moon landing conspiracy, once relegated to the fringes of society, began to seep into the mainstream, fueled by talk radio, sensationalist documentaries, and the burgeoning internet. The internet, in particular, provided a platform for these theories to flourish, connecting like-minded individuals and amplifying their message. The moon landing hoax, once a fringe belief, had taken root in the public consciousness, challenging the historical narrative and sowing seeds of doubt about one of humanity's greatest achievements. One of the most persistent arguments put forth by moon landing deniers centers around the American flag planted on the lunar surface. Conspiracy theorists point to the flag's seemingly impossible behavior, waving in the breeze, as evidence that the landing was faked. After all, the moon has no atmosphere, and therefore no wind to cause such movement. This argument, however, crumbles under the weight of basic physics and a closer examination of the flag itself. The flag wasn't waving in the breeze, but rather appearing to do so due to the way it was mounted. The flag was attached to a telescopic pole with a horizontal crossbar, designed to give it the appearance of being unfurled. The wrinkles and ripples in the flag, mistaken for movement, were actually the result of it being folded during storage and transport. In the vacuum of space, these wrinkles remained, giving the flag a perpetual wave-like appearance. Furthermore, the absence of air resistance on the moon meant that even the slightest disturbance, such as an astronaut adjusting the flagpole, would cause the flag to move for an extended period. This movement, captured in photographs and video footage, has been misinterpreted as evidence of wind and therefore proof of a hoax. The claim that the flag's movement disproves the moon landing is a prime example of how a lack of scientific understanding can lead to misinterpretations and fuel conspiracy theories. By applying basic physics and a bit of common sense, it becomes clear that the flag's behavior is not only possible, but entirely consistent with the lunar environment. 
Another cornerstone of the moon landing hoax theory centers around the iconic footprints left by Neil Armstrong on the lunar surface. Conspiracy theorists argue that the clarity and preservation of these footprints are impossible in the dry, loose soil of the moon. They claim that such well-defined impressions could only have been made in wet sand or another Earth-like substance. This argument, once again, stems from a misunderstanding of the lunar environment. While it is true that the moon's surface is dry and lacks the moisture of Earth's soil, its composition is vastly different. Lunar regolith, the fine, powdery material that covers the moon's surface, is composed of sharp, jagged particles formed by billions of years of meteorite impacts. Unlike Earth's rounded soil particles, which erode over time, lunar regolith retains its sharp edges. This unique characteristic means that lunar regolith particles can easily pack together, creating surprisingly cohesive impressions. When an astronaut steps on the lunar surface, the weight of their boot compresses the regolith, leaving a well-defined imprint. The lack of atmosphere on the moon means there is no wind or water erosion to disturb these footprints. As a result, the impressions left by the Apollo astronauts are preserved in astonishing detail, frozen in time for potentially millions of years. The argument that the footprints on the moon are too clear to be real ignores the unique properties of lunar regolith. By understanding the science behind the moon's surface, we can see that the footprints are not evidence of a hoax, but rather a testament to the alien environment in which they were made. Section 5. Radiation Realities – Exposing the Van Allen Belt Fallacy A common argument used to discredit the moon landing involves the Van Allen radiation belts, two donut-shaped regions of charged particles that surround Earth. Conspiracy theorists claim that the intense radiation within these belts would have been lethal to the Apollo astronauts, making a lunar journey impossible. They argue that NASA, knowing the dangers of the Van Allen belts, must have faked the moon landing to protect its astronauts. While it's true that the Van Allen belts pose a significant radiation hazard, this argument ignores the measures taken by NASA to mitigate the risk. Firstly, the Apollo spacecraft traveled through the belts at a very high speed minimizing the astronauts' exposure time. Secondly, the spacecraft's trajectory was carefully planned to avoid the densest regions of the radiation belts. Thirdly, the Apollo command module, which housed the astronauts during their journey, was equipped with radiation shielding to further protect the crew. These measures, combined with the relatively short transit time through the belts, meant that the astronauts' total radiation exposure was well within acceptable limits. In fact, the radiation dose received by the Apollo astronauts during their missions was comparable to the levels experienced by present-day astronauts on the International Space Station, which orbits Earth within the lower Van Allen belt. The claim that the Van Allen belts would have rendered a moon landing impossible is simply not supported by the scientific evidence. NASA's understanding of radiation shielding and mission planning allowed them to navigate this hazard effectively, ensuring the safety of the Apollo astronauts. Section 6. Soviet Silence. The Missing Evidence from America's Cold War Rival. Perhaps the most compelling evidence against the moon landing hoax theory lies not in complex scientific explanations, but in the silence of America's Cold War adversary, the Soviet Union. At the time of the Apollo missions, the US and the Soviet Union were locked in a fierce space race, each vying for supremacy in this new frontier. The Soviets, with their own sophisticated space program, possessed the technology and expertise to track the Apollo spacecraft throughout its journey. Had there been any doubt about the authenticity of the moon landing, the Soviets would have been the first to expose it. Exposing the moon landing as a hoax would have been a major propaganda victory for the Soviet Union, discrediting their rivals and undermining American prestige on the world stage. However, the Soviets never challenged the legitimacy of the moon landing. Their silence speaks volumes. They tracked the Apollo missions closely, monitored their communications, and even recovered the returning capsule of Apollo 13 after its near disastrous mission. If there had been any indication of a hoax, the Soviets would have seized upon it without hesitation. The fact that they did not lends further credence to the authenticity of the moon landing. The silence of America's fiercest rival during the height of the Cold War serves as a powerful testament to the reality of this historic event. 
Section 7. The Human Element. Why We Want to Believe in Conspiracy Theories. The persistence of the moon landing hoax theory, despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary, raises important questions about human psychology and our susceptibility to misinformation. Why do some people cling to these beliefs even in the face of scientific consensus? The answer, in part, lies in the human need for certainty and control in an uncertain world. Conspiracy theories offer a sense of order, a way to make sense of complex and often unsettling events. They provide simple explanations for seemingly inexplicable occurrences, attributing them to the actions of powerful, often malevolent forces. In the case of the moon landing, the idea that it was faked allows some to believe that they are privy to a hidden truth, a secret knowledge that sets them apart from the masses who have been duped by the official narrative. This sense of belonging to an enlightened few can be intoxicating, bolstering one's self-esteem and sense of importance. Furthermore, conspiracy theories often tap into pre-existing biases and distrust of authority. In the case of the moon landing, those who harbor a deep mistrust of government may be more likely to believe that such a monumental event was staged. This distrust, coupled with a lack of scientific literacy, creates fertile ground for conspiracy theories to take root and flourish. Section 8. Conclusion. Embracing Science. Preserving Truth. The belief that the Apollo moon landings were faked is more than just a harmless curiosity. It represents a concerning trend of science denial and the erosion of trust in expert consensus. The arguments put forth by moon landing deniers, while often presented with conviction, crumble under the weight of scientific scrutiny. From the physics of the waving flag to the unique properties of lunar regolith, the evidence overwhelmingly supports the authenticity of the moon landing. The silence of the Soviet Union during the height of the Cold War further strengthens this conclusion. The persistence of the moon landing hoax theory, despite the overwhelming evidence against it, underscores the importance of critical thinking, scientific literacy, and a healthy skepticism towards misinformation. In an age where information spreads rapidly and unchecked, it is more important than ever to approach claims with a discerning eye, questioning our assumptions, and seeking out reliable sources. By embracing science and critical thinking, we can combat the spread of misinformation and preserve the integrity of our shared history. The Apollo moon landings stand as a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance, and the power of scientific exploration. Let us not allow these achievements to be diminished by unfounded conspiracy theories. Instead, let us use them as inspiration to continue pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and understanding.